this is it on the play, second and set to three. Last time we finally got to Wendell after going through from Jad to Astoria, seeing Astoria getting crushed. We go through the cave waterfalls and we end up in Wendell. So, let's not waste time. This is where we are supposed to be. We need to speak to the Priest of Light. So let's go and talk to him right away. This place is familiar, you'll probably see. Because if you're playing here with Carly, well, this is the place you were. Here it is. May the goddess of mana protect you all! Hey, Priest of Light! Tell me about class changing! I want to get stronger! <sighs> class changing isn't as easy as that. You need experience. There's no way you can change out the class until you're much older. What? What are you talking about? You heard of the mana stones, I assume? They can give you strength. But not until you have all the experience you need. Strength comes with responsibility. Damn it! I want to get stronger now! P Priest of Light? Carl! Revive Carl! Precious friend, little wolf Carl! What is your name? Listen, Kevin. All living things eventually face death. All lives must end at some point, but each life is connected to another. Carl's life may have ended, but his soul lives on inside you, does it not? Then Carl alive? As long as Carl is remembered, he will live eternally. No. No! Peace King, I won't forgive Carl. I will avenge! Wait, let me speak! My priest, I had traveled here from the mana holy land. The mana tree is starting to wither, and mana is disappearing from this land. A fairy has arrived from the holy land. This is a terrible portent. If the mana tree dies, the eight god beasts will awaken to reclaim this world. Huh? I don't understand. The fairy chose you. That means you must go to the mana holy land. You are the only one who can draw the sword of mana. Fairy, you never said anything about this. What's going on? I'm sorry, but the declining power of mana makes it difficult for me. I have to be inside someone in order to survive over on this side. Okay, so you're done with me, right? Now we can go inside the priest or something. It's not that simple, I'm afraid. Once the fairy chooses a host, it can't leave until the host dies. What? But I have a sword already! Didn't you want to feed that crimson wizard? With the sword of mana, you could be the sword's world's greatest warrior! Hey, wait a minute! We're looking inside my mind! Um, I... Uh, and what does a sword do so great anyway? For a story lesson. The Sword of Mana is the center of power of all the mana spirits. It is the implement which the goddess used to create the world. He who holds the Sword of Mana has the power to reshape the world, create and destroy life. It sleeps at the base of the mana tree, under constant guard by the fairies. If the sword is drawn before the mana tree dies, there may yet be hope. The goddess will awaken and save the world. Your wishes may be granted as well. So if I just get that sword, then I can get rid of the Crimson Wizard once and for all! Where is that tree, anyway? How can we get to it? I'd open the gate to the Holy Land myself, but I don't have the strength left to do it. You'll need to release the energy of the Eight Mana Stones. The Goddess closed the gate to the Holy Land long ago, and sealed its energy inside the stones. 
So how do you release it? There was once an ancient spell which could control the stone's energy. War erupted for control of this spell, and the world was torn apart. The bloodshed ended after a curse was put on the spell, making it take the caster's life. The spell was lost soon after that. Nobody knows it anymore. Then there's no way. The eight spirits who guard the mana stones, they could probably help us. With their combined energy, we may even be able to open the gate. That may work. Wisp, the spirit of light, resides not far from here. Some people have even sighted him near a giant waterfall in the cave of waterfalls. Ferry, if I go, will I get my wish? Of course. When the goddess of man awakens, I'm sure she could return Kyle's life. Oh, I'll go. The Mana Stone of Light is said to be above the Cave of Waterfalls. Some people have claimed to see its guardian spirit wisp in that cave. You and the fairies should go there and find out. So, suddenly our main storyline has changed a lot. So now we came here and we learned how we can get stronger or basically get our motives straight. It's basically for all characters. You've been told by the Priest of Light you need to find the 8 mana spirits. Because then you can probably open the gate to the mana holy land, get the mana sword, and make your wishes come true. So that's basically how we're gonna do it now. This is for all characters. So my main objective now is actually to find all the 8 mana spirits. And the first one is just in this place, the Cave of Waterfalls. Oh, it's Carly again. Hey, hey! Been calling out here? I heard this story about you and Grandpa. And, um, can you help me? I'm gonna go find Heat. He's in trouble. No, it's dangerous to go any further. You'll be safe if you stay in Wendell. You'll find Heat. Don't worry. But Carl is worried about Heat. Please, can I come too? Please, please? Ah, uh, why do I even ask you anyway? Carly can find Heat all by herself. Yeah, so if you chose Carly as your third character, this will be the place where you will reconnect with Carly in your team. Because she will actually leave when you enter Wendell, because she doesn't want her grandpa, the Priest of Light, to know that she escaped. Or basically, she's afraid that she will be kept inside Wendell if she goes back, basically. So, now we know at least what to do, but... We were here earlier, we didn't see any places to find this, uh, wisp. Uh, let's just check a bit. Oh yeah. If you play Kevin and the team, if you're gonna go to a dungeon like this, make sure it's night time. Then Kevin can just destroy. Oh! Oh, lucky us, we got an okay. All of these icons are really nasty. But if you increase your luck when you level up, it's gonna make it better. Wait! Mm. The fair is up to something here. What can this mean? Seems like she's sensing something. But what can it be? Maybe something with the waterfall. Maybe I have to climb up the whole waterfall thing? Mm. And there's that entrance over there too, though. There's a strange energy coming from the waterfall. Maybe it's Wisp! There's an opening up there too. Maybe it's inside. Okay, so she wants us to go up there, but you can't fly though. Um, I don't know. Maybe she has a plan. Got some enemies. It's just, in my opinion, the start of this game is so much. It's probably the easiest if you play with these two characters here, Duran and Kevin. Duran hits so hard, even though Duran hits once, and Kevin and Wolf farm well. He just destroys. The jelly is a bit low though, so he can miss a bit, so you can probably improve that as well. I'm gonna go all offense on him, just improve strength and agility. And Kevin will just destroy things by himself. It's kind of funny. So alright, let's go in here. I see the opening, but how are we gonna get over there? So what will we do? 
We use some of the items. No, look, but look though, in the on the menu on the left, spirit. Okay. Well, the fairy said she sent something. Let's see what she has to say. Oh, I forgot you can't fly. Well, maybe I can focus some energy from this waterfall. Whoa, look at that! We did it! Okay, that worked. Now we can get through here, so maybe Wisp is in here now. Oh, zombie. New enemies. You have to be careful about these though, because these can actually poison you. And poison, as you probably know with all status effects, it only lasts as long as you are in combat. When you get the victory message, you're out of combat. Be careful though. Oh, poisoned. Let's, let's fight fast, so we can get rid of the poison. Oh, <laughs> good! I say a special attack. Oh, level up. And um, speaking of agility, let's increase it. This increases his hit and evade chance. With Kevin, and we need that because he is um, he misses a bit. Now he's increased agility. He shouldn't miss as much. This one pretty hurts. But they go down pretty fast. Oh, a golden statue. Great. It means we can heal. And this should save as well. There we go. Game saved. Okay, let's head this place now and see what we have here. Oh, more enemies, of course. Can't have a dungeon without enemies. That would be a bit boring, wouldn't it? And that's one of the key things with this game, is fighting. Hiya! It's a bug sometimes. It's like the game doesn't register to have used it, so you basically use it again. Ah, oh, grass. That's nice. More zombies! Come here! that we beat them so early, because the Secret of Mana, it took a while before we met them, and then they were actually pretty tough. What a treasure chest. More prepare grass. Oh, that's fine. Be cool to have use for those. Oh, an opening. I think there's something inside here. Let's just beat these enemies and be ready. Come on. Here we go. Ground drop. Great. Uh, let's see, that was the wrong one. You press the start button, you get to the item storage. So you can see I have to have nine round drops, so I have three in the storage. Well, we are settled then. Oh, trapped. What's that? Meet the first boss of the game, Full Metal Hugger. It's pretty simple. Just whack at him. As much as you can. He might poison you. So if he does, use the poopy grass. Because poison will keep on ticking as long as you are in combat. You don't want that to happen. Okay, he's gonna shield, that means we're probably gonna do something. Bubble breath. Oh, that actually hurts. Um, I'm actually gonna heal uh, Duran here, cause he hits me for 50, and Duran has about 50 health left. And I don't have any couple wishes to act. No, I don't. So I, I can't really make myself die. Oh yeah. Speaking of which, do you remember this? The assassin bug guy we got on Duran's intro story. Let's use it. Ugh. Poisons. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Holy ball. Yeah, so this is a light elemental enemy. 45. I. Okay, that didn't hit so hard. A holy ball again? Uh oh. I need to heal Kevin. He's getting low on health. Oh, we are already getting him low on health. That's nice, but I need to heal Kevin. Kevin is low health. You need to be very careful though. Sometimes these boss can spam attacks, and other times they actually are more gentle, should we say. But yeah, Kevin just rocks this one. I'm 
So I attack soon again, or it's gonna be next time. Dive attack. Ow! Oh. That's gonna shake. Okay. Oh, I'm just gonna heal the run again. Just need to make sure they are healthy. You never know when they're gonna do another attack that's gonna hurt, so. Poisoned. Oh! That's it! Yeah, this fight is much very easy when you have Duran and Kevin on the team because they're just so strong. If you have like Carly and Angela, this will actually be very tough. Don't worry though. Weak teams in the start get really strong in the later game. Victory! We beat our first boss in second sets to three. Oh. What's that? Look who it is. Yes! It's me! I'm it! I'm the one you're looking for. I was trapped in that thing's body. I'm finally free. The fairy told me all about you, folks. You got a lot of work ahead of you. But I'm like the fairy. I can't live without mana, so I'll go along and help save the mana. Can you tell us where the mana stone of light is? It's right above us, but we can't get it to here from here. Don't worry, it's safe for now. At least while the mana power holds out. Let's go find my buddies and head for the whole line, eh? There we go, we obtained the Power of Wisp. That's great. Hmm? Hey, look at this. The explosion must open up this passage. So there we go, we have beaten the first boss of the game, we obtained the first spirit of the game, that means we have seven left to go. It might sound a lot, but don't worry. It won't take that long as you might think. Even so, it's good that we have something to do, though, of course. Victory! Okay, so since we have the Wisp now, we should probably go back to the Priest of Light and tell him we have Wisp, so maybe he can tell us where another one spirit is. Okay, so we can go over here now, so Fairy, get us over here. Let's see what the Priest of Light will tell us this time. What the- oh! Hey, what are you doing?! You must have been the one who lowered that barrier. Maybe I should thank you for it. Now our invasion of Wendell can proceed as planned. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, crap. So... The Beastman is now invading Wendell. What shall I do? Okay, this is bad. So, remember when the fairy opened the waterfall cave? Well, apparently someone snuck in. The Beastman. So now we're getting a bit of a flashback from basically what made the fairy get to us. You see this place here? Yeah. This is our ultimate destination now. This is the Mana Holy Land. And this is where we're going to go to get the Sword of Mana. That basically is the mana tree, right in the center there. There is where we are going to go. Yeah, you probably noticed that my overlay in the background is the same as this one. I really like it. Not like this one, it's like a dark version. Here we see the ferris, and there's a sword of mana. That's what we are after. Oh no, the tree! We shall tell the priest. Find the hero too. We don't have much time. Do you remember the intro with these glimming things? Yeah, it's basically a flashback. And so I had to travel across all the four ferries. I can't go on. We're almost there. I won't make it. I'm sorry. I'll give you my strength. Yeah, so this this trip for the fairies is very tough for them. But they have to go on. We can't go on either. You're our last hope. Take care. So you see that this trip is very tough for the fairies. And even the last fairy, it's very tough, but she knows that this is it. It must go on. You must get there. You must find the hero. We're back to us again. Where am I? We have one health left. 
them. I'm in prison. That's that's really rude. What? Hey, let me out! Look, it's Hawk. Keep it down, will ya? Awesome. Somebody there? Where is this? Are you all right? You were out for quite a while. This is the prison in Jed. One little mistake and now this. Well, as soon as the guards leave, I'm going to escape. Don't let you out too. My name? I'm Hawk. Just watch. Hey! Quiet! Hey, look! The lock's open! What? Oh, this is so funny. It is, but how? Huh, <laughs> it's easy. You stand over there. Okay, you do this. Uh-huh. And all done. Like taking candy from a baby. Hey! <laughs> Stupid piece of There, it's open. Okay, I figure this will work best if we stick together. Let's head for the harbor. Some townspeople are organizing an escape. The beastmen are busy invading Wendell right now. Come on, there's not much time. And Hawk joins the party. Yeah, you probably figured it out. So, this is the time and place where you get your third party member. Of course, the exclusion is if you have Carly in your team. And we heal up. We should of course save our game, because now we have our full party. So now we have to escape this place. Because I guess that beast will be locked up forever and then they're gonna come after us. So let's get out of here. Got wolves here because the beastmen are here. Let's just give them a little fight. It's about to be very cool now because now we have four, three party members. Let's get out of here fast. More wolves. This fine. We have a wolf for ourselves. Look at Kevin. He's just demolishing them. <laughs> and level up for Duran. I'm actually going to go and increase his intelligence because it's a bit low. And we want to have protection against uh, magic attacks. Or else we're just going to be sitting there healing ourselves to death. Oh, damn. The gas. The smoke. That hurts. Oh, maybe we should increase luck next time or something. Because we really don't want that to happen all the time. It can be a bit problematic if you open a chest and you don't have any items or far away from a, an inn or a golden mana statue. This is just demolishing. Like if you had a weaker party, it will be a bit tougher. Victory! That's great! Okay, so now we're back here. So now we, now we know where the place is though. Remember where we came from, Chad? Yeah, we came from the harbor. The harbor is down here and it's there. In here. Let's just go in here right away. Let's run. Hurry, climb aboard! And chase away! Ah, we made it. We got out of Jad in time. And now this boat is gonna take us away. This is great. It's starting in the morning as well, so... Uh... Anyways, we are at least through from Jad. We can continue our journey. That's great. We're running out of time. We need to find the rest of the speed as soon as we can. Huh? Whoa, what is that? Oh, that's a fairy from the Manor Holy Land. We're on a journey to find the eight spirits that guard the Manor Stones. So you're the one the fairy chose, eh? I've been looking for you. The Priest of Light told me all about you. I want to bring Cal to life again. You same? Want to revive someone? Well, it's a long story, but here it goes. So now we're gonna witness a third party's flashback from the intro story, basically. This always happens at this point. You see, I was with the Th Navarre's Thief Kills. Hey, listen to me, will ya? 
probably remember all this from when we did the intro story of Hawk in uh, episode number four. We never steal from the poor, always from the rich and greedy. That was our pledge. But then this girl, Isabella, she put a spell on everyone, even my best friend Eagle. Yeah, that was pretty sad. Killing his own best friend. Not just that, she put a cursed death color on Eagle's sister, Jessica. If I tell her the truth, she'll die. That's the curse. Yep, that's a quite sad story. I ran from Navarre to ask the Priest of Light for a way to lift Jessica's curse. Hmm. Fairy, if I go with you, will I be able to save Jessica? Of course! The god is a man and will have no problem removing that color. I understand. I'll go with you. So yeah. We have our team assembled, we are, we are ready to go on with our quest. So now we're being told to go, gonna go somewhere else. So now we've gotten the first spirit wisp. We need to find the others. We have seven more to go and it's not gonna be too easy. Free City Maya. I can't go home to Jordan for a while. Might as well stay here, right here. I think that's smart as well. We shouldn't really focus about that. We have a new place now. Welcome to the fruit city of Maya. On the port you can catch a ship to Jad. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so there's apparently a city called Baisel nearby, but we cannot enter it. Dwarves in the cleft of the earth. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, so... Baisel does not allow people in at the moment. For Cena? Well, it's uh, the Ron's home place. Okay, so here we know what we should do. This guy says, You're looking for the Man of Stone, eh? You should go talk to King Richard for Cena. He knows a lot about them. I always come out King Richard and the Knights of Gold. They have a reputation for himself around the world. Hello. I don't believe we met. I escaped from Jad on the same ship as you. I heard the Priest of Light has put up a new, stronger barrier around Wendell. But he used up a lot of energy in the process and has since fallen ill. The only one who can cure him is Heath, and he's missing. It seems like the Priest's life is in danger. Okay. Well, at least now we know pretty much where we should go next. He said that we should go to Forsina. And apparently Forsina is west of here, through some cave, and over a bridge, and then we get to the grasslands and we can enter Forsina. That's great, so, even though Duran said he won't return before he had killed Corin, well it seems like we need the King Richard's help. So we're gonna go for that in our next part, because we're running out of time. So now now we know at least what to do, and King Forsina might tell us where we can find the remaining spirits. So, if you have any feedback on my Let's Play, or want to discuss this game, then leave a comment below this video. If you want to be notified when I upload more parts and other stuff on my channel, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. With that, I just want to say, thank you for watching. And I'll see you all next time.